um, this is the bubble, and this is um, the. Uh, it's also a final table because it's a six max set. I um, uh, six five players uh, get a seat. Six players remain. We have got a very small stack um, in the cutoff. Um, I have the, I've put the uh, the pink mark round um, two players. That is my uh, way of player noting that these are two players that uh, call a too wide for it to, for a satellite they are you know that they, they'll defend with hands when they you know they have a seat locked up and they'll call with spe small pairs and, and, and stuff like that so i'm not expecting uh to have a great deal of fold equity but uh, th this is a really interesting hand anyway so let's just see what happens I don't, yeah. So uh, already before we even say anything, it's it's very interesting that this player has min raised and left some chips behind. That's that's already signaled to me that they're a decent satellite player and are, are aware of the concept of stealing fold equity. Um, what, what what do you do with jacks here, Dara? But considering it's the um, it's the pure bubble and we've got a, uh, a this wide is, caller. This is such a complicated spot, actually. It um, amazingly gets more complicated, but go on. What's yeah, your, like if we shove, I'm I'm leaning towards shoving because I think even if Tilty Taffy makes a bad call then against our shove, at least we're going two against one on the short. Would, would we though? This is the question. So if will I he, show will, them, will, he, will he fold and leave himself point two of a big blind? Yes, because that that's that's. Um, I mean, you know, he could rightly assume that he that there was like a. I, I've definitely got a strong range if I shove, but Tilty you, you Taffy, have a very strong range. Uh, Tilty but, Taffy doesn't have a strong range, and he could like, be in a flip. He could be in a sixty forty. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of spots where the sh <laughs> usually usually on satellite bubbles the short stack has the wider range, uh, mm. the shorter stack because they're the one who are shoving wide and the people behind are calling tight. But it's kind of flipped here because you're not the shortest stack, so therefore mm. if you shove, you have a strong range. Tilty Taffy, particularly if LU three UK has picked up on the fact that he calls too wide, will know that he's likely to call too wide. So I don't think he can leave himself point two of a big blind behind on the hope that you want to bust. Mm. Um, because that might be only a 25 to 30 percent shot mm. um and and if he folds he's definitely bubbling uh if you win so mm. i think on it depends on his hand obviously if he has a hand you know like eight nine suited or something and he's worried he's up against a bigger pair then you can make a stronger argument but i think he will It'd be very weird for him to fold and leave himself with that and be forced all in in, in two hands on an ante or mm. one hand. Um, but he might do it, I guess. But so shoving is the thing which jumps out to me as as the first thing I'm thinking about. Calling has some merit too, obviously. But the problem with calling is if we call and tilty shoves, I guess it's we're, I guess we're in the same situation where we're basically two against three or two against mm. one rather so maybe that's fine but then you know he might do something stupid after the flop like bet us out on a on a king or queen high flop and and hand the pot to the other guy mm. so i'd be a bit wary about that option to be honest with a player behind folding as weird as it sounds is also an option yeah uh, because just because of just how short ilu3 uk is i think you can actually make very strong cases for all three options here but, i might actually I might actually just fold. Right, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to blow your mind here then because I, I went with option four. Um, I have the option to under raise here. Oh, did I? Yeah, I didn't shove. Um, yeah, I have the option to under raise, which would put uh, Il UK all in, um, potentially entice Tilty Taffy to just flat and we can check it down. And if he comes over the top of me, I can sort of sheepishly get out of the way and still have half a half of my original stack. This is my this is my logic. This is uh, yeah. But this is kind of a way of. I actually like this. Yeah, I, this doesn't doesn't occur to me, but I like I do like this play. Um, so and now yeah, if we get bad out, it's it's yeah. 
So obviously I'm 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 done with the hand at, at this stage, but this is a best, great. Yeah. This is the situation I was worried about about not going all in. If we get a king high flop and he has a nine and he bets and mm. he allows the guy to win with ace nine or tens or something, but oh god. Yeah. So I mean I mean I mean the I mean the bet size is interesting, but I don't think there's necessarily much thought into it. But like. You know, you know, we we block a potential straight, or we could get us. You know, we have some equity, but I'm already thinking right. That's definitely a king at this stage. What What are your thoughts? And would you continue? I think even if it, even if it isn't a king, like almost any hand that he has, unless he's just doing this with a total air ball, he's going to have equity. Like mm. even if he has like ace ten with a club, it's not it's not a brilliant spot for us. This is why I think we kind of got ourselves into trouble pre flop. Mm. Um, there's another factor too um which i which i've noticed among um weaker players which you said this guy is when they find themselves in this situation where they're the massive chip leader on the bubble they love it and mm. they, and, and they actually want the bubble to continue <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so they can continue abusing people so he could actually be doing this with just something stupid like eight seven thinking i uh, want to be hilarious if the small stack doubles up and i get to go on yeah uh, bullying people for other hands so yeah, that's part of the reason why I would have shoved preflop as well. I think mm. often this type of player actually wants the bubble to keep going and therefore he won't call off with 8-7, but he might bet 8-7 now. As played, what are you, what are you doing to the, uh, the, the min bet? We, we have to fold now. We just don't, yeah. uh, we can't put any more chips into the pot. I agree. And like, uh, at least by betting, I have a feeling that he's got decent equity to get rid of the uh, ill UK anyway. Yeah. Um, so I do fold and he amazingly had ace king um you would have hit your straight and um i would have hit the straight and um oh wow what did he have uh yes that was i think he had queen queens or something uh which then now then put me in this this uh so i i still think i i think i still think that was an interesting creative way for me to play the hand and i don't think it was a terrible way for me to play the hand but the negative of it the negative of it is it's now put me in this situation um, yeah, I mean, I guess if we shoved, he was calling anyway. But then we mm. we actually hit her straight on the river. So yeah, that's that's yeah. the other advantage of shoving. When you shove, you you realize one hundred percent of your equity. Yeah. Um, 